Hey everybody, Steven Krutzfeldt here. I uh, wanted to give you another Abby tip. Uh, one of the issues that I ran into was uh, documents recognizing when maybe they weren't supposed to. And what I really wanted to do with Abby Flexi Layout was limit it to only search in a specific area, kind of like you would with a document definition if you were working with a fixed form. So I found out that there is some code that you can use to basically draw a box around where you want to look. So I'm going to go ahead and create a header here. We're going to add an element. And this is going to be a static text element. And what we're going to do is just call it ID1. Say this is going to be the identifying piece. And anytime you're working with a header, always make sure it's a required element. And any other options that's not either a, a header or a footer, make it an optional element. That was a little trick I learned also. That'll I, make sure it identifies or acts as a, an element for identifying purposes. So next thing we're going to do here is say that the uh, text is going to be invoice. And you can give it some constraints or relations rather and say you know nearest the page top edge. So that way it'll find just the one that's closest. But what I really want to do is tell it to only look in this area. And if it doesn't find it, then it's not correct. So the way we do that is go to the advanced tab. And here's the code for doing that. Um, so we're going to say below, then colon, page rect. No, we'll go ahead and use camel case here. Page rect dot top, and then comma. And what you can do then is actually measure by just holding the mouse button where you want to look. And in the bottom right hand corner here, it'll show us how many dots it is below. So if we look at that, it's about 55, 60, give or take. And so what we'll do is say 60 and then DT for dot, then add a semicolon. So that'll say only look below this line right here. We also want to say uh, we, that it has to be a box. We need to add three more um, lines of code here. So we're going to say right of colon page rect dot left comma measure again 1013. DT, semicolon. Same with left of, page, rect, right. Twelve eighteen. DT, semicolon. And we can say, uh, above the bottom and try and measure all that. But the other thing that you can do is use negatives to, to basically get the same um, result. So what we're going to do is say above page rect top comma. And we'll see that it's about 130 to the bottom of it, 125. And we'll, so we'll just go ahead and make that a negative, 125, dt, and then apply. So then if we were to right click and test that element, we'll see that it found it right in that area. So there you go. Uh, that can be done with any type of element. Um, the most common is probably going to be the uh, region. If you want to use a region, um, just put that code in there on the advanced, under advanced pre-search options. And that's how you essentially draw boxes in Flexi Layout Studio. Thanks for watching.